Is there any money turning John Cena heel? No, there's no money turning John Cena heel. You do not want to turn John Cena heel. He is the face of that company. You know, he's got he's the most liked athlete in America, surpassing Kobe Bryant. Uh, kids love this guy. They look up to him. He's done so many Make-A-Wish grants. Uh, he's got a smile on his face. He's all-American. He's, uh, he's good. Uh, it, it sounds like a great idea because he can go to arena and they'll say, you know, uh, let's go Cena. Cena sucks. Hey, man, they're just messing around with that cat. Uh, I talk about with John with great respect. He's walking on the edge of a razor blade. I don't know how he does it. I've never seen anybody else have the kind of run that he's having. And no, you cannot turn him heel. There's no money in it, and he is the face of the company. And you cannot have the face of the company trying everything he can to be hated. It does not work. There's no money in it. I agree. I respect John Cena yeah. as much as anybody I've respected in the business of pro wrestling. Wow, that's great. That's that saves something. Hey, I, here's what I, I look at it this way. Number one, I agree. I, I wouldn't. I, I said that. And I argue with people. I have these little Q and A's on my uh, website, jrsbarbq.com, jrsbarbq.com, and I'll answer questions on there pretty regularly, from folks. And some people just can't understand my logic, but uh, it's you hit it nail on the head. I mean, you covered every base. You can't turn your back on all that merch. He's already got about. He's already got a portion of the defiant young male demographic that make uh, a little noise at him. So what are they going to do? If he turns, if he was a bad guy, would does that mean they're cheering? So they could be defiant? I don't know. Right. And then how do you, how do you tastefully uh, get all these kids that look up to you and want to be you because of what he stands for? How do you get all the kids? How do you turn, turn on the kids? I can see turned on adults. I've seen, right. that, I've seen that all my life. But I don't know that I'm a, I would be a smart enough booker to orchestrate how John Cena would turn on children. And I don't know. Well, be, is, that, is it my goal to make the kids cry? I don't think so. Well, let's look at it like this. You know, I, I was the guy that turned myself heel in WrestleMania 17 against The Rock. That was my idea. It's always like to do something big at WrestleMania. He didn't have anything bigger than the fact that we had a hellacious match, one of the greatest matches of all time. I wanted to turn heel because I've always loved working heel. And I just figured, hey, when you have a hot uh, baby face run, you know, you just turn heel, you're going to be a hot heel. Well, timing has to be there for that to happen. And uh, so people, like you said, no one wanted to, uh, you, you made the comparison of myself to John Wayne. No right. one ever wanted to hate John Wayne. No one ever seen John Wayne work heel. So my turn was ill-fated from a business standpoint. Now, from a creative standpoint, as that character, I got a chance to push the envelope in many different directions and go down the, the, the road of some comedy and humor when I had three broke bones in my back doing skits with Kurt Angle as a means for survival. But from a box office standpoint, I suffered in merch. The company suffered, uh, suffered in ticket sales and pay-per-view rates, and it was not a successful endeavor. So that being said, and looking at uh, white meat, young, clean, handsome, uh, baby face John Cena, he must remain that guy. I agree. I, I, I agree. And I, I have the only thing that I believe that, uh, and I, and we might get into not an argument, we, probably, we might disagree. Here's the thing in the WWE right now, it's not like you could go, if you want to freshen up as a character and, and you're in WWE, where do you go? What do you what do you do, Steve? If you say, "Man, I've been uh, I've been on TV now. This is like X number of years in a row, and I haven't taken any significant breaks. I've been lucky enough. I'm sore. I'm hurting, but I'm not. I'm still up and up upright. Where do you go to freshen up? I'll tell you where you go. You go home. Right. And, and or if it's a bad scenario, you go to rehab. Or right. you go to, God forbid, jail uh, or, or something along those lines. I mean, the best scenario for you as a talent to freshen up is to go home. And, and I, that's, we talked about the CM Punk thing the last time you were on. And, uh, you know, he, he's, he went home. He got burned out. He was on the road. He was, he was, he was bored out eight and a half years of a breakneck schedule. 
and his body was hurting, and he was fried, and he hated, and he despised the creative, and he had enough. I'm tapping him out. I'm going home. He went. He went to safe land, home. So now, uh, the only thing I have issue with with any of the guys that WWE's built around is the fact that they don't get the opportunity to take much time off. And so, if you don't have much time off, Steve, how do you kind of half-ass reinvent yourself a little bit? You add a little bit of this or a little bit of that. When you came, when you got your back hurt, you know what you added to your uh, repertoire? Not a moonsault. You added comedy. You added more personality. Stone Cold smiled in that era more than he had smiled previously to date. So you, right. you changed. And I'm just saying that the one thing that I think that the wrestlers of today, no matter what company they're with, TNA, Ring of Honor, WWE, whatever, they get into a rut, they get in the comfort zone, and when your ass is in a comfort zone, if you're a sales manager and you got a sales staff full of guys in comfort zones, you're going to be out of work because they're going to get rid of you or your sales staff all together independently because they quit. when you get in the comfort zone, you quit growing. And I think that's the only thing I see about the WWE top guys. I wouldn't change Cena to a heel, but I would certainly encourage him to get, I'd give him some time off and let him freshen up, and he would be better in the long haul. That's my opinion. Maybe they can't afford to do that. Yeah, but but again, I think I think you're right. Just a little, little bit of time off, and and that's the bottom line. Yeah, time but, off. Yeah, be smart. Be smart. Just book it. In other words, if you had a system where a guy after X number of weeks he's off. Hell, they, they got to be. You know, I'm not. I can barely turn my damn iPhone on. But I bet you some smart guy could probably do a, a, a schedule to where when a talent was booked for X number of days, uh, they automatically dropped off the, avail the the list so you couldn't use them type thing. I mean, you could play with it, but there's, there's got to be a way to do that uh, in my, my view.